So this is now the power room next to uh, the mill. Um, this used to be the main, uh, well, this seems to be like the main substation. So if you look outside, you used to go from the grid into the, into the uh, transformer. The transformer through the floor, which is down there. Through the floor, which is down there, there's a feed there, and then there's also a feed here. So there's two feeds coming in, and then this will obviously be three lives and also your three lives over there as well. And uh, yeah, this is the, uh, obviously, this is the main unit that pulls the feeds in. Uh, and over here is whereby it goes from there, it goes all the way into here. And then obviously then this comes into here, and then this obviously then is your main, yeah, your, your three lives there. And it breaks off into here, which is obviously Big Mill 1, Big Mill 2, which Big Mill 2, I assume, is the one that's being renovated over here. Uh, you've also got the Shades, which was the one that's across the bridge. That's the Shades. Um, I didn't realise that until uh, I realised there was a pizza line new seat for somebody that lashed over my hedge. And uh, it said the Shades. Um, so that's a Shades mill over there. And then this one here, I don't know. It seems to be, uh, I'm not sure where it's come from or where it's going to, but I'm going to do some uh, research. But uh, yeah, there's three... So there's three buildings that are powered from this from, from this little room. So, uh, and also there's three, there's the only three meters though, so, I don't know. There's a meter there, and there's one meter, which was probably for the big mill. And then there's obviously another meter here, which says meter two, we assume would be for the big mill two. And then this one here was gonna be three. So, number, th ah, number three. So, the shades doesn't look like I had a meter. It might have had a meter, not here, but a meter over the other side. And then uh, we do have other boxes here. So this here, this looks like a battery pack. It looks like a battery pack or, ah, no, it's not a capacitor. This is actually a capacitor. So uh, this would have uh, stored a huge amount of voltage and uh, yeah, high, high current. It will be uh, released, well, that's 160 amps so uh that's capacitor so uh so here's all the buzz bars buzz bar cable Caution, point of isolation. Uh, again, I think they look like fuses or capacitors. Oh, you fu they're, 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 sorry, they're fuses, sorry. So those are fuses. And then, uh, obviously, uh, a KV uh, meter. So this would have been all the monitoring. This would be monitoring and uh, energy services. Great. So the looks on the energy services was uh, a company called Eon. So uh, that might be handy if I wanted to get power here. Because they were probably the last people that did the uh, power in the mill. Oh. Uh, That's a tool, that's a tool for uh, obviously uh, isolation. So for instance, when this was closed, oh, it's not that you can close it, it's, but if it was closed, this was the, uh, this is the meter again. That's 80 amps. Might do a bit of Googling actually, trying to find out what some of these names actually mean why they were fed to and what was powered from them all. But uh, there's the uh, meters for the uh, amp, uh, amps and uh, kilowatts. That's actually the switches. Let me read it. And uh, 
was a heater. It was like the heater in here. It kept it all nice and cool and nice and warm. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, that's the power room. So uh, for what people asked me for was, uh, can, I have, can I have some information about the power room? Well, that's it. There's not really a lot in here at the minute. Obviously, all this needs to be ripped out and cleaned out. But uh, first of all, I'm gonna have to get a meter on them to make sure they're, uh, they're dead. And I hope they are dead. So. So yeah, 